Hi, so I'm here um, to do a live interview with JP de Villiers. We're very excited to have JP joining us on the Business Skills Seminar Programme at Professional Beauty London this year. Um, and JP is going to be talking about uh, where you are now and getting to where you want to be in three easy steps. Mm -hmm. So hi, JP. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Good to be back, actually. Yeah, because you obviously you've spoken at PB before in the past. That's correct. So JP, I was hoping that you could share with our uh, audience perhaps an example of the kind of thing that they can learn if they, if they come and see your seminar. Hmm. So really what my subject is way beyond pro beauty, but everywhere that I speak and coach around the world, I've done work in 15 different countries, is all about personal leadership. Right? Everyone is already a leader, whether you're a junior manager, director, or whether you're just anyone in life. We're all leading someone. Hopefully, we're leading them in the right direction. But for us to lead people in a better direction, we first need to know how to lead ourselves. So my subject and really what I, most, what I, most, what I know most about is self-mastery and how we can be the very best leader and human being that we can be. And that covers that three areas, mind, body, and heart. Mind, body, heart, and in those exact, uh, in that specific order, it has to be mind first, then the vehicle for carrying the psychology, and then the heart for mastering the former two. So I'll be sharing with people how to master your mind, body, and heart, and ultimately, how to be an inspirational leader in what you do, not only to be inspiring to others, but to every day, wake up feeling inspired, to work in spirit, to work not from here, but to work from here. And you and I know, and everyone watching or listening to this knows that when you go to work and you work from here, it's a very different place to working from here. Mm, absolutely. So what advice then would you give to someone who's perhaps lost their way a little bit, lost their motivation and is looking okay. to get more passion for their career? Got it. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back to heart mastery. You might have the mind right, you might be relentless, you might be working incredibly hard and you're fit, healthy even. But I don't know what that bing is, yeah. but hopefully you can still, hopefully <laughs> you can, I think it's a notification on your computer. Hopefully you can still hear me. The heart mastery is really what's going to differentiate whether someone is passionate and obsessed about what they do as opposed to feeling lost and stuck and in the mud. So what I would say to everyone listening to this and everyone coming to my talk is know your highest values. Know the things that you most love, the things that make you come alive. Those three things that when you do them at work and someone says, we just want you to focus on these three things tomorrow, you don't need an alarm clock because you want to jump out of bed and go do that. So, you know, in a fluffy way, it's do what you love, love what you do, which is my number one rule for life. Love what you do. If you're not doing what you love, at least find the things you love in what you're already doing. So th that's the number one thing that I would say is extract, elicit, and discover what are the things that you most enjoy. And if you're feeling lost, and if you're feeling stuck, get into momentum and action by doing the things that you love. Because like someone great once said to me, clar uh, sorry, action doesn't come from clarity. Clarity comes from action. So if you're feeling stuck and lost, the number one thing you've got to know is you've got to get back into momentum. You've got to get back into action. And the easiest thing to do is find the things that you love. If I ever feel stuck, if I ever feel lost, I speak, I coach, I train because those are the things that I love doing, physical training, by the way. Fantastic. All right, thank you so much, JP. I know that's short and sweet, but that's given us a great insight into what we can expect <laughs> from the seminar, so thank you. So for anyone who's not had a look, you can see the full seminar programme online now at professionalbeauty.co.uk slash seminars, where you can also book. And JP is talking on Sunday, the 29th of March at 1pm. So I hope to see you all there. Thank you very much, JP. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, yeah, what I would say is by people coming, what they're going to get is high levels of self-mastery and certainty, energy and passion. Fantastic. Great takeaways. Thank you. Thank you very much.